here for the four ball down in the same pocket as the three ball. And if he does that, makes the four, he'll break up that five, six, I would imagine, right? In the process. Well, if he gets straight on the four, he can also play the five ball in either the side pocket or the corner pocket. Got to make this bank shot back over. He's going to make it to make it to the two. I know, 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 I Another one. Against Rodney Morris really didn't seem to be up to par, did he? Yeah, well, Rodney evidently controlled the match. Uh, what? The he broke so much better in the back. I don't think it's over by a long shot. It's a race Another one. He knows the cracks to one. Race to 11. Nine ball. Yeah, 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 boy. Just that quickly. Magandang umaga, mga kaibigan, mga kabilyard. Welcome to Sports Hub Reaction and Commentary Videos. For today's reaction video, pag-usapan natin tong laban ni Efren Reyes versus dito kay uh, Johnny Arcer. Ginanap ito sa Florida at ito yung uh, Florida Flare Up 3 Championship. Ang mananalo dito ay uh, mag-uwi ng 20,000 US Dollars. Nanalo sa lag itong si uh, Efren Bata Reyes at siya ang magbe-break dito sa rock number 1. Ang laban nila ay 9 balls. Ang kanilang match ay uh, race to 11. Ang kanilang uh, rule sa breaking ay uh, winner's break. Kaya kung sino ang manalo sa per rack, siya ang magbe-break sa next rack. Magkikita natin dito si Efren Bata Reyes ay uh, medyo malungkot siya dahil uh, ito yung araw kung kailan namatay yung kanyang uh, father at uh, mukhang uh, stress talaga dito si Efren Reyes at malungkot kaya tingnan natin kung uh, magawa ng paraan ni Efren Reyes na matapos niya itong laban na ito pagamat ang father niya ay uh, pumanaw na sa Ang kalaban niya dito ay isa sa pinakamagagaling na pool player no, sa US itong si Johnny Arcer. At uh, makita natin si Reyes ang nasa table at meron siyang available shot. Tingnan natin kung makaranok siya dito sa rock number one. He's got a real critical shot here because he's got to cut the three in and then the eight's real close and he's going to look like draw out of there. He played safe off the shot. Well, that's a heck of a way for Reyes to start out. I never seen him do that before. Usually, he's usually a real aggressive type player. Well, I agree with that shot, Jimmy. I like that. Well, he's only got one way to kick is this way, I think. It's come down here and go just miss the seven and come in here and hit the three ball like that. There's, I don't think there's no other way you can get to the three. This is going to be a tough ball to tough hit, hit, Jimmy. Tough hit. Or he could come a different way here. I think he may have to go below the side. Well, I don't know if he can get below the side. Now, what's he talking to Scott about? Scott Smith, the referee, comes in. What is he asking Scott? I think he's going to try to mass A around the eight. He's looking That's what he's doing. He, he's going to try to mass A. In other words, the cue ball is going to curve like this, come down here at this cushion, back here, and then hit the three ball that way. Thank you, Jim Rempe. Nick Varner and Jim Rempe with us here on the... Up in the booth, looking down, watching the action as you are. Or he can go this way, Tom. He can hit this cushion, then down. Mukhang hirap dito si uh, Johnny Arcer, no? Sa kanyang uh, gagawin. Exactly Three rail cushion shot. Tingnan natin kung matamaan niya itong object ball. Tinamaan niya ang object ball at merong available shot dito si Reyes. Nagkaroon ng window para sa combination dito sa 9, no? At uh, mukhang maganda itong uh, ball position. 3 to 9 combination para dito sa ball number 9 sa corner pocket. Tingnan natin kung ma-accomplish ni Reyes ito at score dito sa rock number 1. Mahusay yung pakakombination doon ni Efren Reyes. Ito naka-score siya ng uh, una. At siya pa rin ang magbe-break dito sa rock number 2. Use a heavier cue, guys, uh, to break the, the rack. 
Mukhang uh, hindi pinalad si Reyes sa break na yan. Walang pumasok kaya dry run dyan, dry break si Reyes at uh, back to table itong si Johnny Archer. Mukhang uh, determinado si Archer para talunin si Reyes dito sa rack number 2. Panoorin natin mga kabilya. Well, he's got a problem here. This two ball doesn't pass. It goes in this side pocket over here but I don't think he has a shot to get there. He might just draw the cue ball and have it come across the table and try to break him this way or or just come straight into the balls and break him that way. Tough shot, Nick Runner? Yes, very tough. He's got to, like Jimmy said, break out the 2-8 or he may play or position for to play safety, safe on the for two. For the safety. That's what he's doing for the safety. Well, he certainly can hit the two, but finding a place to put it is something else again. That is making it. He may be trying to He's go going to come behind the that. three. In the six. And puts the cue ball up at the far end of the table. It's right and next to the nine. Oh, I think oh, uh, oh, oh, I think my. Ephraim can play that nine ball, Tom. I uh, do, too. A combination <laughs> in that uh, uh, left-hand corner pocket. I do, too. At least the nine yeah. ball is certain to move. He's just going to shoot straight down the table here. Hit the edge of the two ball. Send the nine over in this pocket here. $40,000 awaits the winner. And you see the nine ball, that precious banded ball that is the object of all the great uh, billiard players' thoughts. I'll tell you, this is serious pool. Both these players really want to win this match. Well, you know, in addition to picking up $20,000, which certainly makes it a magnificent week here in Fort Lauderdale, didn't get it kicked it the other way, didn't it? Huh? Didn't hit it thin enough. No. But he's caught a little bit of a break here, Tom. Uh, the two fell behind the four, and uh, Johnny may have to either kick to the end rail or play a rail first shot and the three is all the way up table so yeah no way to get position on the three even if he kicked to the side cushion and made the two in other words he can go this way kick to this cushion here off the cushion clip this ball either come this way with the cue ball around the table up for the three ball or come this way and draw it this way and come back up this way if he's trying to make the two ball he might just try to hit the two ball and play safe off it well, he's been trying to play safe, and so far it's resulted in a one nothing deficit. And he was, I thought, kind of lucky, or Reyes did not play up to our expectations of him with that 2-9 ball, which might have been a combination that um, could have resulted in winning this rack. We'll he's, see what... He's uh, doing what I said. He's going to try to come across the table to keep on back up that way. Watch. He missed the ball, but watch the cue ball. See the cue ball going back up that way, Tom? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he's left the combination. Yeah, he's got the 2-3 up there now. Or he may play a safe and just stick that cue ball again. He just did a shot uh, the first game where he stuck that cue ball behind the eight. Reyes is looking over that end of the table. $20,000 to the winner, of course, and 200 points in the Camel Series point standings. And, of course, at the end of the year, the best of the best are going to split up $250,000. The point total leader right now as we speak to you is John Archer. He actually played a good shot there. When he when he hit the two ball, he was actually playing a two ball in the side pocket, I think. I agree with you, because look where he's got the cue ball for the three, and uh, he's yeah. left the two ball. Johnny's got a shot at the two, albeit a long one. Yeah, Johnny on this shot, what he's got to be careful is when he cuts that two in, he's got to dodge that four ball. Maganda ang pinapakita nilang uh, play safe dito, no? Nag-trading sila ng uh, play safe. At uh, mukhang uh, maganda ang uh, nakitang ball position nitong si Archer. Tingnan natin kung uh, matamaan niya ito. Makita natin dito si Johnny Archer ang number one sa ranking at number two lang si Efren Reyes. Sila ang nasa championship match. At uh, makita natin dito kung sino magbawagi. Hindi pumasok yung uh, tira na yan ni Johnny Archer. At uh, ito, mukhang na-open kay Reyes itong table. Tingnan natin kung uh, magawang paraan ni Reyes ito at uh, makaran out siya dito sa rack number 2. San Diego, Nick Varner, the gentleman sitting next to me, one up at Reno. Rodney Morris has been a two-time winner. Reyes is the eight-ball champion. Yes, Jim. I don't know if he's got an angle. If he's got an angle here, he's going to try to let the cue ball come this way and back up here for somewhere for the three ball. Two ball on the side. He's going to hit this hmm. pretty hard. Yes, Watch he it. did. Right on cue. Yeah, the Gotta spin is a little, spin. Uh, a little too Not soft. getting it. Not he didn't have a big it. enough angle on that shot. Yeah, he was a little too straight in on that two ball. No, another safety. You've seen a lot of safeties off Reyes yeah. this opening couple of games. Reyes defeated um, 
Jamie Goodwin out of Battle Creek, Michigan, a young pro who had a really a great tournament. What a bank shot. He played the bank and the seven ball. Oh, boy. What a nice shot. You know, it's interesting, one week to the next, um, how people, uh, no matter what sport they're playing, can their degree of uh, excellence can vary. A week ago, Reyes against Rodney Morris really didn't seem to be up to par, did he, Nick? Yeah, well, Rodney evidently controlled the match uh, with the break, and he broke so much better and yeah. uh, got all the opportunities early and got a big lead, and there from just did, couldn't catch up. No, and, and some of his play was not really up to the standards. Uh, that we associate with Efren Reyes. He's a magnificent player called the Magician. And I would imagine, uh, while we won't dwell on the subject, that he is playing with a heavy heart, no question about it. His father yeah. passed away in the Philippines, and following this uh, tournament, he's back home to the Philippines, and then he'll be back for the World Nine Ball. But this has got to be a difficult week for him. Last three balls, si uh, Reyes dito, no, at aiming siya dito sa object balls, seven balls, sa corner pocket. Maganda ang uh, ball positioning niya. At uh, nakukuha dito ni Reyes yung kanyang momentum. Last two balls si Reyes sa rack two at uh, aiming sa ocho sa corner pocket sa itaas. Pinaikot pa ni Reyes itong uh, cue ball para mas maganda ang uh, ball positioning niya dito sa 9. At ito mukhang makaka-score pa nga siya ng uh, isa pa dito sa rock number 2. Pasok ang 9, 2-0 score natin. Si Reyes pa rin ang uh, magbe-break dito sa rock number 3. Mukhang uh, sinuswerte si Reyes dito bagamat uh, kanyang ama ay uh, pumanaw sa panahon na ito. At uh, talagang dedicated niya itong laban na ito sa kanyang ama. At uh, ito, nag-break si Reyes sa rack number 3. Sa pangalawang pagkakataon, wala na naman pumasok sa break niya, the right break. At ito, babalik sa table si Johnny Arcer. Well, he's got a combination on the 1-4. Uh, and the 1 will stay right there after he pockets the 4 ball for position on the 1. On the well, we get Archer to the table now. Let's see if John can do something about winning, running up this rack. This is a tough rack, Tom, because he's uh, the first shot's okay, but uh, on the opposite end, the six and nine look like they're tied up. Where he's either going to have to break them out, play billiard on the nine when he plays the five, he's got an opportunity to break them out if he wants or play position for the billiard where he plays a cue ball into the six and kisses the nine into the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the six passes the nine, Nick. Oh, does it pass the, yes. the nine? His problem here is getting in the two ball. You can see the two ball here, the eight's block in the pocket. Here, he's going to wind up trying to either play position on the two ball or play for the combination. It's up to him, whatever he decides, because the three ball is up table also. The one ball is not a problem for him, but as Jim Rempe says, it's got to be over to the um, to the two ball. I think he, he can cut that across the corner, can he not? Yeah, he can play it straight in the corner and just uh, draw back or stop for the three, so he can come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's just going to make the two ball down the corner pocket here and bring the cue ball right back to where it is for the three ball in the opposite corner pocket over here. Mm -hmm. Also on this shot here, now he's got position on the three ball. It's just make the ball and come straight down the table for the five ball. Which is what he's going to do. Beautifully played. Nice position with the cue ball. He's looking over the seven and the eight. And of course, he's got the six and the nine down here. And you, uh, gentlemen, the six will pass the nine. Huh? This is how John Archer got to the championship finals here. Defeated Lou Ott in the semis, 11-9. Tony Allen, Reed Pierce, who was uh, last year's uh, U.S. Open nine ball champion. Scott Needham. He's been rolling along. He's undefeated. He comes from the winner's side of the double elimination tournament. Well, a lot of room for the six there, wasn't there? One we got a close-up. We can yeah. see that uh, it was yeah, a relatively yeah. easy shot. In addition to being, of course, as good as there is on the... Maganda ang uh, pinapakitang uh, tira dito ni Johnny Arcer, no? At uh, mukhang makaka-steal siya ng isang rack dito sa rack number 3. Last three rack, last three ball si Archer at yun, pumasok yung 7. Aiming siya dito sa 8, no? Tutok na tutok dito sa corner pocket sa itaas. At uh, mukhang kukuha siya ng magandang ball position dito sa 9. Exactong exacto yung kanyang uh, cue ball control. At uh, ito, last ball si John Arcer dito sa rock number 3. Pasok ang 9, 2-1 ang score natin. 
Lamang pa rin ng isang punto si uh, Reyes, si Archer ang mag-break sa rack number 4. Malakas ang break dyan ni Archer, no? pero na-scratch siya sa side pocket. A foul break yan at uh, ball in naman kay Reyes. Tingnan natin na kung maka-run uh, maka out si Reyes dito sa rack number 4. Alam naman natin si Reyes kapag naka-ball in hand yan, napakabilis niyang umubos ng bola. Tingnan natin kung maubos niya itong rack number 4. For the four in a corner pocket. Mm -hmm. It clears the six from over there, huh? Yeah, he's gonna have to pound this and go to the side cushion and bounce back out. That's what he did. Mm, that'll okay. work. That'll mm -hmm. work. That'll work. Mm -hmm. You know, I must be a terrible pool player. I admire the way you guys do this so um, effortlessly. But you know, you always look for an angle, and everything. you don't things that are straight in just doesn't. Always suit your game. You want something that you can play off a rail or whatever. Here's how Reyes advanced. Uh, he did have a loss in there, but uh, as you can see, he lost to David Howard in match number two. And Howard's a very fine player. We don't see enough of him on the on the weekend playing for the championship. He's an outstanding professional player. Efren Reyes, though, I tell you, he's a very very tough competitor and comes by his credentials in great fashion. He's an outstanding competitive player. Yeah, it's amazing to me, uh, Tom and Jim, is uh, Ephraim uh, signed a contract with Mucci Q's a uh, month or two ago in the last two tournaments he's finished second. At ito nga, mukhang nga hindi pinagbigyan ni Reyes itong si Johnny Arcer, no? At uh, talagang inubos niya itong uh, bola sa rack number four. Aiming sa ocho si Reyes at uh, maganda ang uh, ball positioning niya. Pero tinitingnan niya yung uh, next object ball itong nuebe para makakuha ng magandang posisyon. At tayo pumasok ang 8. Tutok ang 9 no straight uh, packet dito sa corner packet. Pasok ang 9, 3-1 ang score natin labang diyan si Reyes. At uh, napakaganda ng pinapakita ni Reyes yan bagamat uh, makita mo sa Uh, pagmumukha ni Reyes yung lungkot no? dahil sa pumanaw yung kanyang ama. Pero ganun pa man, dedicated daw itong laban na ito kay, uh, sa kanyang ama. 3-1 no? ang score, si Reyes pa rin ang mag-break sa rack number 5. May pumasok na bola sa side packet at mukhang uh, may uh, available tira. 9 ang pumasok dyan, no? kaya panalo ka agad si Reyes. 4-1 ang score natin dyan at uh, napakaganda ng break na yun. No? Lucky nine break ang tawag dyan, kaya ito 4-1. Magbe-break ulit si Reyes dito sa rack number 6. Ang score natin ay 4-1. Uh, I'm just checking some of the money figures so far to date and we're just barely into this 1996 tour. Uh, Rodney Morris with 52,000 plus what he wins uh, this week and that's going to up it uh, better than 57,000. Ito mukhang uh, sinuerte na sa break dito si Reyes. No? Dalawang beses na siya nag-break na may pumasok. Yung huli ay uh, 9 pa nga ang pumasok. Kaya dito may available shot si Reyes dito sa call number 1. Tingnan natin kung makarano siya dito sa rock number 6. No, no. Well, we were been fortunate uh, And in this semi-final, he trailed uh, Jamie Goodwin 6-1 in the semis and came back and won it 11-10. And I talked with Goodwin for just a moment. I had not met him, so I introduced myself to him after the match, and, and I congratulated him. He said, you know, I didn't play very well in this match, and I'm sure he regrets of having had a lead like that and letting it get away. But on the other side of the coin, if the only way to beat Reyes is not let him get off that stool. You've got to keep him just sitting over there, looking around and musing about what might have been. You let him get to the table and you run the risk of having him destroy you. He's very well, good. Davenport was playing really well this tournament uh, in, in their match. Uh, Efren Reyes come out of the box and hit him with seven racks right from the get-go. 
Well, remember the eight ball championship in Las Vegas, gentlemen? Steve Miserak, one of the great names of this game and an outstanding player in his own right, never got off the stool but twice, made one ball, missed another, and Reyes defeated him eight nothing. It was un it was just uncanny, the ability that Reyes displayed in that match. And here he is up 4-1. They've moved the, and made a box there where you uh, uh, break from. You can see the line on the table as you look down at it at the top end of your screen. Is it tougher to make that nine ball out of this box now? Is it easier? What's the... He's going to billiard, I think, the ball here and try to let the cue ball come down and make the six ball here. Play position for the five down the corner pocket. Made them both, didn't he? From the break, uh, tougher to make the nine ball now or because he just did a moment ago. I think so. I think it's tougher to uh, make a ball on the break from that box. I think it's easier to make the nine ball from the box, but it's harder to make a ball. Nice display, beautiful. Touch. Yep. And great position. He seems very much to be on his stick here in this, the championship match of the Florida flare-up three. Johnny Archer is the defending champ. Well, I know everybody in Manila is going to be watching this match uh, tonight, uh, Tom. Uh, Nakuha nga ni Reyes yung kanyang momentum, last two balls siya dito sa rank number six. Aiming siya dito sa ball number eight at uh, maganda ang uh, ball position niya. Mukhang uh, makakaran out nga si Reyes dito sa rank number six. Pumasok yung uh, ocho at ito napakagaling talaga sa ball control ni Reyes. No? Eksaktong eksakto dito sa position ng nuebe. Pasok ang 9, 5-1 ang score natin dyan. Mukhang uh, mahirap ang humabol dito si Johnny Arcer. Si Reyes pa rin ang magbe-break sa rack number 7. Ito mukhang uh, dry break na naman dito si Reyes. Walang pumasok na bola kaya back to table itong si Johnny Arcer. Determinado siya na makakuha ng puntos no, dito sa rack number 7. Panoorin natin mga kaibigan makakabilyard kung makakaranap siya dito sa rack number 7. Well, whatever else he's going to do. He could go this way, come this way, and come down in here and shoot the two ball back into the same pocket that he's shooting the one ball. That's what he's trying to do. I don't know if he hit it hard enough or... He's almost there. In fact, he is pretty good on the ball, though. Yeah, that's excellent. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Well, Three I ball think, in the middle of the table uh, there. Is that a problem? No, it's just straight out back to the middle of the table for the three, and then the four is up table two. The main thing is pocketing into the two, and I think right there uh, uh, with these two shots, if Johnny can get this two ball to go down, he's going to show Ephraim a little bit of magic of his own here. Well, he wanted to be on the other side of the three ball. In other words, with the angle to come over to the right, and the, he's got the opposite angle. So he's going to have to hit, follow this ball and go between the four and the five. Go right between the four and the five. There what a is. nice touch that is, huh? Mm -hmm. Well done. Yeah, in fact, if you got the impression and weren't listening when we were talk talking to you about how good Reyes is, remember that Johnny Archer is the number one player, <laughs> certainly on the Pro Billiard Tour, conceivably in the world. This guy, this is not chop liver up there now. No, this is serious pool, I'll tell you. You yeah. couldn't get him a better match than this one. No. Yeah, all right now, this is the best ticket in the game. Yeah. He is the defending champ. He is down five to one. It'll be um, a, g a match worthy of all of his skills to uh, bring this back to even or to pull it out, but we anticipate uh, Archer equal to the task of making it a very competitive outing. Did he get enough of that cue ball down there for the six? Well, he wound up with an angle. He's gonna have to come down table and back up for the seven. He would have liked to got straight in on the seven, on the six ball. Yeah, in the side and... Yeah, yeah. but now he's gonna let the cue ball go down table here. See, back what he up. was trying to do there was uh, See, he's falling a little funny on this seven ball, yeah. Ooh, and that's because he had to make the cue ball go about eight or ten feet on that position shot where he was wanting to fall straight in on that six where all he mm -hmm. had to do was stop for the seven ball or maybe go forward a few inches. This is a funny kind of shot here, Nick. Uh, I don't know if he can come off the, the seven and come two cushions, if he can come two cushions like this and back out to here for the eight ball and have a tough cut on the eight ball, or he can draw off here and come this way, which makes it a tougher shot and come over here for the eight like this. 
Or if he can, he'll draw over one rail if it's possible, but I don't know if he can hit high yeah, enough on that rail. What Nick means is draw over this way and have the cue ball come try to come back like that, but I don't know if he can catch enough of the seven ball to do that. In addition to all of that, if he misses this, why Reyes is going to run this rack right out and take a 6-1 lead. Yeah. And That's what I said. Going to three cushions there, Tom, makes the shot a lot tougher, and he missed the ball. Yeah. That's uh, Nancy Grossman and her gorgeous daughter sitting there looking on. Nancy's the one who arranges all those late midnight flights for me back and forth across the country. She is with Ultimate Travel, travel agency here in Florida. Really a delightful lady and very accommodating. Call her at home any are the day or night, and she can... Look at that stroke. Put the right accommodation together. Napakatinik at napakahusay talaga nung na backspin na yun ni Reyes doon sa 7. At ito last two balls si Reyes dito sa rack number 7. Napakaganda ng pinakita niyang ball positioning dyan, ball control. Bagamat uh, makita natin dito sa pagluluksa ni Reyes at uh, talagang dinedicate niya itong laban nito sa kanyang ama na pumanaw sa panahon na ito. Ang score natin, 6-1, no? Lamang si Reyes ng limang puntos dyan. Siya pa rin ang nag-break dito sa rack number 8 at mukhang uh, may pumasok na isang bola. Kaya back to table itong si Reyes. Mukhang may available shot siya dito sa 1-1. Tingnan natin kung maka-break and run siya dito sa rack number 8. Well, there's a different, couple different ways to go for a safety. He can shoot the cue ball and come off the one and let the cue ball come down in here and put the one ball over in here for the safety. Or he can try to just knock the one over in here without making the one ball and put the cue ball over in here. It all depends what kind of angle, what kind of touch he can put on the ball. He tried to do it the first way I showed it. Yeah, he's coming down to this end of the table, and I think he's pretty successful. I well, don't think the ball will pass. Will it go through the six? It won't. Well, we it? may say Johnny shoot a jump shot here. Yeah. Uh, this is set an ideal for a jump shot, and Johnny's uh, one of the best I've ever seen with a jump shot. Yes, uh, he is. How they say you can bet the grocery money on this one if he jumps it. <laughs> I tell you what, I very seldom see him miss one of these jump shots. He's, he's the best I've ever seen. Where does he strike the cue ball to make it jump literally over the six? Does he hit right down on top of it? Yeah, he hits close to the middle unless he wants to draw it, and then he tries to hit it a little lower, right in the middle. Mm. Well, he hit it. He needed a better break than that to make a ball. He didn't, and I don't know. Uh, He's got he had, a billiard here on the six ball. Yeah. Going to come off the one and make the six in the side pocket. Looks that way from, to me anyway. Or he could play safe, but well, it looks like the six is, uh... He's definitely looking at it, isn't he? Yeah. yeah or he's going to cut the one. He might be cutting the one. But the two is down here, unless he's going to come off the six for the position. I believe he's cutting the one. No, he played the no, six. No, he played yeah. the billiard. Yeah. That's a great shot. Yes, and he leaves this one ball right dead in the pocket there, and the two balls right... Yeah, Reyes is uh, off and running here, and Archer... Um... Every, Despite his talents, really you need a, a bit of luck. Maybe everything more looks, than a bit. Everything looks pretty easy here. There's the six ball again. But the four and the seven are on the same cushion. It's going to be a little bit of a tough position shot for the off the four to the seven ball. He almost has to go three rails off the four, yeah, doesn't he, exactly, Jimmy? Exactly, exactly. Four to the seven, he'll have to go uh, three, three cushion, rails, I Because believe. the nine is in the way coming back and forth. We're almost in the way. We're the side pockets uh, in the way. It's going to be a good shot going from the four to the seven. I know Archer's going to be watching because uh, that he could get an opportunity uh, to get up the off table. the chair. <laughs> this is going to be a good shot, and he has to judge the speed, the angle that's coming in, so he doesn't snooker himself on the eight. Yeah, he's got to really go. He's got to go far enough to cut the seven in the same pocket, but yet not get behind the eight ball. I mean, is the four froze? If it's froze, it makes it a, a different kind of shot too. Looks frozen. He's drawing the ball. He's going back and forth. No, he's going to change his mind, maybe. Yeah, it looked like he was going to draw uh, across and try to miss a nine. Yeah, he's just going to try to just miss the nine ball, go back and forth, just miss the nine ball. Uh, I don't think he got there. Yes, he did. He hit it perfect. Yeah, what a great shot. What a that shot was. that was. Hard to miss that side pocket there on that shot, Jimmy. Man, he hit that so good. Reminiscent of his performance in the eight ball championship at the Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas. For Pasok ang siete at uh, maganda pa rin ang pinapakitang uh, ball positioning at ball control dito ni Reyes sa rack number eight. Mukha talagang uh, hindi niya pagbibigyan dito si uh, Johnny Arser at ito last ball siya dito sa rack number eight. 
side pocket para sa 9. Pasok ang 9, 7-1 ang score natin dito. Tambak si uh, Johnny Arcer, no? At uh, mukhang uh, maganda talaga itong uh, dedication ni Reyes para sa kanyang ama. Itong uh, kanyang uh, laban na ito. Makikita natin at siya pa rin ang nag-break dito sa rack number 9. Mukhang uh, walang pumasok sa break na yan, no? Uh, back to table naman itong si Johnny Arcer at uh, maganda pa rin ang uh, pinapakitang tira ni Reyes I just that zeros, no mistakes, no ball scratched, uh, no kicking errors, no safety errors, no position errors, nada. Balls pocketed 41. Magnificent performance by Reyes. And now Archer's got his work cut out for him. Yeah, I don't yeah, think he's shaking his head and he's uh, facing a tough uh, position here. Uh, safety. Trying so he to play to the billiard yep. on the one three, but that was really a hard shot. Oh, is the six? Well, he's going to cut the one in the corner, the left-hand top corner. Can he get it by the six all the way up there? Yes, yes he, he can. can. It's a tough shot, but if it's the ball here, send this ball up here, up to the corner pocket. This is a real tough shot. Anytime you're cutting a ball backwards like this. And then he's got to play position on the two, and what a job he did killing that ball. What a marvelous shot. Boy, he is uh, living up to his name, the magician, tonight. Uh, Is Reyes on or is Reyes on? Huh? He hit that with a little bit of left-hand English, too, which made the shot even more difficult. This may be the best I've ever seen him play. Yeah. Oh, oh, as soon as you said that, Nick. Just that. Sorry. <laughs> Masama talaga yung uh, pagkakatira ni Reyes na yun. Medyo makapal, kaya sumablay siya doon. Back to table ito si Johnny Arcer at uh, ito makikita natin sa yung uh, naging champion dyan sa 1995. No? At uh, makita natin dito si Johnny Arcer ang nasa table. Mukhang pukuha uh, siya ng paraan para maka-score siya dito. Oh no, the two passed. I didn't think it went by the two Well... Archer's only gotten to the table a couple of times, guys. I think he better just run them one at a time rather than try to make that combination. Unless well, that nine's a, hanging right there. He's got a real tricky shot right here. He's yeah. got to have good speed, good angle to get over for this four ball yeah. for the three. And then, yeah. then he's got to get back up for the he's five. He's got to come hit the three ball let the cue ball come this way and try to bring it right over in here for the four ball in the corner pocket. This is all speed control. He's going to hit this with a high left-hand English cue ball. Well, this would appear to be then the toughest shot he's got toward running this rack. Is that right, guys? Because if he does that and gets it over here in position for the four, he can pretty well handle the rest of the table, can't he? Well, then he does have a little work left to do. He's got to draw back gotta and clear careful. that six. Careful. If he gets straight in, he would have been right. better off with an angle where he could have come around two or three rails. Now he's got to draw up and clear that six and get the five in the side yeah. pocket. Mm -hmm. And this requires a really good stroke. Cue ball control right here. He's got to draw it back about two feet. Plus, he has to make the two. He's trailing 7-1. Desperately needs to run this rack and get the... Look out for the six. got to be kissed. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Going to clear it? He got his, uh, probably his first break of the match there. Yep. He's got a good shot on the five on the side. He's going to have to go down table, but I think he's pretty happy because uh, I know uh, when you're down this far that uh, even the simple shots sometimes look hard. But he's no way out of this match. No, but... Oh, no, but cue ball... As Nick said, it was a fortuitous move there to hit the six and move it just enough. He could have very easily stymied himself. I've seen the Hall of Famer sitting next to me do just that. It wasn't that long ago, and it just almost broke his heart. Did it to himself and losing it. And I think to Reyes, was it not to Reyes, Nick? He was a, such a At ito nga, nakuha ni Johnny Archer yung sa kanyang uh, momentum. Last three ball, pumasok ang Chiete sa side pocket. Last two ball siya dito sa rack number nine. Aiming sa 8, no? maganda ang ball position, kaya tingnan natin kung makaran out. Excellent backspin. Aiming siya ngayon sa last ball, sa 9 ball. Pasok ang 9, 7 to ang score. Lamang ng 5 punto si Reyes dyan. Si Johnny Archer pa rin ang magbe-break dito sa rock number 10. Well, Needs to make a ball. Look at the nine ball rolling toward that, the corner. Yeah. 
Very disappointed si Johnny Archer. No? Talagang malakas na yung break niya na yun pero walang pumasok. Open ang table kay Reyes. Meron siyang available shot dito sa ball number one. Tingnan natin kung may steal ni Reyes itong rock number 10. Medyo masama yung kanya nga backspin dyan at uh, kumover ng konti itong uh, dalawang bola sa gitna. No? At uh, ito, aiming siya dito sa ball number 2. Medyo may harang. Ano orin natin mga kabilyad kung paano discard yan ito ni Efren Reyes. That was a shot that he's like Nick said before. He's been playing with this cue for a couple different tournaments. And this cue, the Mucci cue, really has a lot of power. And he really overstroked it, which he didn't have to. And the cue actually helped him draw the cue ball. That's why it went so far. Yeah, he told me last night that uh, he was really getting a lot of power out of the Mucci cue, Jim. Yeah. Tremendous power in that cue. Has he left Archer anything, gentlemen? I think basically probably a safety uh, if he tries to pocket the two. I guess uh, I can't tell from this angle. I don't think he's got a shot to pocket no, the two. He's looking for a safety here. There's a lot of different ways to play the safety. He put him right behind the three. Well, he found one way, didn't he? Well, he can hit that two ball. Uh, can he kick off that rail and yeah, hit it? It makes for an easy hit, and Rays does this better than anybody. I mean, as far as hitting a certain side of the two ball and putting the two in one part of the table and the cue ball in another part of the table. So it's 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 a safety, but it's not really that good a safety. No. It's, um, it's good enough that um, I think Reyes would have to be lucky. Will that two ball pass? Everything going up into the corner? He's going to try to make across. the two ball on the side. He's yeah. going to draw the cue ball off one rail right into it and try to make it. Plus, see what I mean by hitting one side of the ball mm -hmm. and splitting the two mm -hmm. balls? And look, at he wound up with the safety. I don't know. He can hit that two ball. Can oh, he make yes, it? Yes, he can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's even got... Well, I think the safety here is hard. Munting lang pumasok yung uh, object ball na yun. Uh, Nagtitrading sila dito ng play safe. Si Johnny Arser itong nasa table. Meron siya counting window dito sa object ball number 2. Tingnan natin kung maipasok niya doon sa corner packet sa itaas. At uh, mukhang long shot ito at uh, mahirap ng konti. Kaya panoorin natin mga kabilyard kung paano palusutin ito ni Johnny Arser. Cloth between the ball and the object ball. And the position after the shot. And then he's got to hit it. You see how easy he had to hit that yeah. ball to uh, stay down on this end? Mm -hmm. But uh, he's left Reyes a little difficult, too. Although Reyes has got a chance to cut that ball into the corner. For Archer, if that ball had gone, it would have been the best of all possible worlds. He was back down here for a position on the three. But now he has given Reyes another chance to hurt him. Reyes does, comes back. Cuts that ball in the length of the table. You know, he it's didn't amazing. Want to hit that ball. He I, didn't. No. I don't know how old Ray's is, uh, but he still makes those cut shots. Are we talking nerves here? Are we, <laughs> Jim Rempe? I'm talking eyesight. I mean, that's a long <laughs> shot to hit that ball that thin. <laughs> well, just making the ball was a great <laughs> <Right>. shot, huh? <laughs> I don't know. He's going to try to play some kind of a safety here. Uh, I mean, he's got a lot of different ways to go. He could just come off the three ball and bring the cue ball back in here. Leave the three over in here somewhere. I think he's going to try to. Maybe bring Bank both balls over to this rail and block with this three balls of four, five, six. What's well, not a bad shot here, Nick, and I like this shot, is to bank the three ball here, let the cue ball come back this way and try for the safety and the shot in the, in the, of the four in the side pocket. Well, I kind of like your choice there. Uh, Can he bank it across the two-way shot? Two-way yeah. shot here. No, he went for the total yeah. safety. Yeah. yeah, well, he wanted to get that three ball notice. He didn't want to leave it on that rail where he could, Johnny might have a combination on the nine. He That's got right. it below the nine. Now, but John can make this in the left-hand corner pocket. Is that a tough cut shot, what? cutting it back what? in? I think he's going to play safe here. I think he's going to hit uh, the three ball on the left side and try to go behind the nine. He's going to let the cue ball come off the three and come back at the nine ball here. The reason he's doing that is because you can see this cluster of balls here is, is tied up. So the safety is a better percentage shot than going great shot. shot. Oh, is that great, any good? marvelous. Is shot. that any good? What a touch! Now, if you get cue ball in hand, you can break up the cluster. And of course, uh, Reyes has got to find somehow, some way to get that uh, solid white ball, the cue ball, to come in contact with the three ball. Well, this is a hard one just to make contact here. He's gonna. I'm not saying that he won't hit it, but uh, Ephraim's got to make a great shot just to hit the three here. 
He plays such good three-cushion billiards that he usually hits balls like this, too. Yeah, he don't miss many. He's leading 7-2 in the race to 11. Kickshot si Reyes dito sa object ball number 3. At uh, yun, tinamaan niya, merong uh, possible shot si Johnny Archer. At uh, makita natin na uh, medyo alanganin yung ball position nitong press. Tingnan natin itong uh, galing ni Johnny Archer kung paano niya ma-counter safety or pabang shot itong 3-ball. Shoot the bank, play the 3-ball back in this pocket. Meanwhile, the key ball is going to go this way, up here, back over here for the 4-ball, down in the same pocket as the 3-ball. And if he does that and makes the four, he'll break up that five six, I would imagine, won't he? In the process? Well, if he gets straight on the four, he can also play the five ball in either the side pocket or the corner pocket. Got to make this bank shot back over and yeah, it went a little. He's going to make it the other side. He's going to make it the other side. Two rails and, uh, and look at the position on the four. That's beautiful. And Archer, I'm sure, would be the first to admit that he was trying to make it back in the lower right hand corner, but made it nonetheless. And there's no place on the card for how, just how many, huh? Well, he deserves a break in this match, the way they've been rolling. I think uh, he hadn't got many. Nope, that's the first shot he got lucky on. Now, take a look. He was going to try to make it there, I'm sure. In the meantime, hit it well enough that it hit and rolled across. In Mukhang na-flock talaga dyan ni uh, Johnny Arcer yung uh, bang shot, no? At uh, nagkaroon ng double uh, rail bang shot. At uh, ito, nakakuha pa siya ng uh, available shot. Kaya mukhang sinuerte doon si... Uh, Johnny Arcer sa flock shot na yun. At uh, makita naman natin, intended siya na ipasok doon sa ibaba corner pocket pero nag-bounce. Pumasok sa opposite uh, corner. At uh, nagkaroon siya ng magandang position dito. Tingnan natin kung uh, makakaran out siya dito sa rock number 10. I think what he's worried about here, Tom, is... Uh... The scratch. Uh, looks like he's reaching in uh, number one, and the next thing is he's got to roll this a little. He's a little thinner than he'd like to be. See how softly he struck that five oh, ball? Oh, oh, oh. Medyo masama yung uh, pagkakanipis, no? Nung uh, tira na yan, Johnny Arcer. Hindi pumasok itong uh, bola, nag cliffhanging siya dyan. Kaya na-open tuloy ang table dito kay Reyes. Mukhang uh, masama talagang uh, tira yan dahil 7-2 ang score natin, race to 11 lang ito. At uh, si Reyes ito, nag-take uh, siya ng uh, chances niya at inakapitalize niya ngayon itong uh, ang, uh, mistake ni Johnny Arcer. No? At uh, makita natin may available shot pa rin si Reyes. At uh, panoorin natin mga kabilyard kung makaran out siya dito sa rack number 10. Well, there's one yeah. thing about fishing, though, Tom. I mean, you don't have to stay in stroke. You can go out there after a year of not <laughs> playing right. and still play as good as you used to. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Ooh, oh, that wobbled that one in. Boy, you're right, Nick. I mean, if there is a, a scale full of breaks that have certainly gone the way of the magician so far in this match. Medyo mahina lang ng konti, pero manageable pa rin ang ball position sa 7. Last three ball dyan, ayun, pumasok ang 7, last two ball. Si Reyes dito sa rack number 10, mukhang uh, talagang hindi pagbibigyan ni Reyes itong si Archer. At uh, ito nga, mukhang uh, dedicated talaga itong laban na ito para sa kanyang ama. Backspin dyan si Reyes at uh, last ball dito sa rack number 10. Mukhang uh, abanti na naman ng isang puntos itong si Reyes. Pasok ang 9. 8 po ang score natin. Lamang ng 6 na puntos dyan si Reyes. Siya pa ang magbe-break sa rock number 11. Panoorin natin mga kabilyar. Hasn't had a chance to play much and has not had much luck or success once he got to the table. He made a corner ball straight in that time and what marvelous position he's got on the 1. But the 2 to the 3 is the key here, isn't it, Jim? Yes, it is. I mean, he can play for the 2 ball in the side pocket or down the corner pocket. The two either goes in this pocket, naturally, you can see it for yourselves, or down this corner pocket, or he's playing for the two, actually. He just put his finger on the table. He's going to try to put the cue ball over here. In other words, come off the one this way and right over to this spot here for the two ball in the side pocket. The reason for that is he wants to wind up with an angle on the two to get down for the three ball. He judged the speed pretty good right here, right about where he put his finger. <laughs> it's still a little tough, though, I mean, because the seven's uh, in front of the three. I think what he wants to do here, if he can, is draw short of the side and bounce off for the three. What do you think, Jim? Yeah, like two cushions, what you're talking about, uh, to the middle of the table, probably. 
Or no, he's just... Oh, you yeah, think he's, he's going no, all the... No, no, no he's drawn here and bouncing straight out to the middle. Yeah. Yeah, that was much easier. You know, he's still got to make that cue ball travel a lot from that five to that seven, so he needs a good angle on that five. Just cut the ball in straight up to the middle of the table. Just judge the speed, and he did it perfect. But like you said, the five to the seven is the key shot right here. He's got to get a good angle. Uh, you think he's going to draw up or try to uh, go around with the rails? That nine's kind of well, the in, nine's the wrong in the way. place. What Nick is talking about, if he gets this angle with the cue ball over here, he can come off the five this way, this way, and come down in here for the seven ball. Or he can draw the cue ball back to here and then come off the cushion back to here for, for the seven ball in the opposite pocket. I think he's going to come short of that eight. Yeah, he's coming to three cushions. The three cushions. Inside the eight in the side pocket. And he'll be using low right English on this. He's going to shoot the cue ball this way. Cue ball's going to go that way in here. Inside the eight and the side pocket. This is really cue ball control here for the, for the seven ball in the corner pocket. At least that's one option he's got. Yeah, that's definitely the way he's going to go. When I seen you earlier, Nick, I thought you were winning this term. You had a, some, kind of, some kind of cigar that was bigger than you, I thought. <laughs> yeah, I thought Nick was having a baby or somebody in the family was... Last three balls, si Reyes dito sa rack number 11. Maganda pa rin ang pinapakitang ball positioning ni Reyes. Pasok ang 7. Ito nakatutok pa itong 8 ball dito sa side pocket or sa corner pocket. Tingnan natin kung saan papadaanin ni Reyes. Mukhang uh, side pocket niya papapasukin itong 8. At uh, ito nga, pumasok ang 8. Last ball si Reyes dito sa rack number 11. Ang score natin, 8-2. Mukhang uh, aabante pa ng isang puntos. No? Tatambakan na talaga niya si Archer dito sa laro nila. Napaka-smooth and finesse nung tira na yun. At uh, ito. Pasok yan, 9 score natin, lamang na 7 punto si Reyes. Siya pa ang break dito sa rock number 12. Mukhang minalas ng tira dyan si Reyes no, sa break na yan. Walang pumasok kaya back to table itong si Johnny Archer. Determined pa rin si Johnny Archer na makahabol. Tingnan natin at uh, meron siyang available shot. Panorin natin mga kabilyard kung makakahabol nga siya dito sa laban nila ni Reyes. He told me if I got an opportunity to thank his sponsor, q Sticks in Colorado, and uh, uh, he's got a beautiful Q himself there, Tom. Did you say that? Yeah, I did. Gorgeous thing. That's a Sean Q. I think if Johnny loses this match, I think he still stays ahead in, in the points with Camel, don't he? Yes, yes he, he does. does. He will be the number one point um, producer on the tour so far, and of course, uh, you know, that is a marvelous, marvelous quarter of a million dollars. I tell you, you know, the intensity of this tour just went up dramatically when that was announced. Uh, the players uh, getting themselves in shape. And don't think you have to be in shape to play this game. Concentration, um, you're on your feet. You've, everybody is coming into town, going to shoot the sheriff out of the saddle, and you've got to be ready. Guys that you never even heard of come wandering in, and before you know it, you're in a tough match with them. It's not easy. And well, I noticed that uh, there's a lot more players practicing this year, Jimmy, in the practice <laughs> room. <laughs> sure is. I'll tell you, i never seen players so much under pressure as I've seen this year, too. <laughs> yeah, everybody's really fighting hard for... How about this combination, guys? Anything here? Well, he's going for it, I think. Well... And he did and didn't make it. Things have been going so tough for him. He's just trying to do something to turn that momentum around right, that was... and get a quick win. Yep, he's down 9-2 in the race to 11, and Reyes, a uh, lot of table between he, the cue ball, and the one ball. Well, I think Efren might have a safety opportunity here where he can cross the one and send the one all the way up to the, the other one end. The one this way and send the one right back up table here. Which Put is what he's doing. Underneath here. Which is exactly what he's doing. Well, I'll tell you, um, here's Archer now looking at Nothing easy about this. I think he can hit the one ball, but any hopes of making it, I think, are dim. 
Well, I know he's feeling because uh, every time he comes to the table, he's looking at a tough shot. He's coming this way. He's just going to try to catch the one ball. At ito mga big shots si Johnny Archer dito. Hindi tinamaan yung one ball. At medyo masama talaga yan. Foul yan. Ball in hand naman dito kay Reyes. Alam naman natin, kapag nakabolin na si Reyes, talagang inuubos niya itong ball. Panoorin natin mga kabilyan ulit. Si Reyes, ball in hand. Dito sa rock number 12. Efren Reyes is looking to make it 10-2. Is there any trouble on the table for him at all? The five ball is the toughest shot. And right here, I think he's going to have to play a combination, so he has to control where the two ball and the cue ball go so he has a good shot on the two. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't be a bit surprised that if he didn't make both the two and the three with this. No, he won't do that, Tom. He's either going to leave the two in front of the side pocket or knock it a down table for it in the corner to the next shot. He left it in front of the side. Mm-hmm. So to get back on the five ball is the, is the key shot in this rack. I see. So he had to have that two ball stay out so he can play some position for the five, right. huh? He's still in a little problem getting to the four ball to get the right angle to get mm -hmm. to the five. Mm -hmm. He's got to either go between the six and seven or clear the six with a draw. And he yeah. did that part perfect. And he's got a pretty good angle to get good on the five. Uh, he just has to be careful he doesn't end up behind one of those balls. He's got to float up between the six, right. seven, or maybe even bump the seven. Speed. Players are always looking at least three balls ahead, never less than three balls ahead. Wouldn't you say, Nick? Yeah. The angle to get the, uh, to the next angle. What I usually do is do exactly like Jim said. I play at least three balls ahead, but usually I look to see where the problem balls are going to be in the whole rack, so I kind of look at the whole rack ahead. Well, exactly, but at least you're playing three balls ahead at all times. Well, he's just going to make the six, is he not? And will there be a combination for the seven uh, no combination all right <laughs> okay. sorry tom well you know, i just thought maybe we could enhance the thrill of the excitement of it all at ito nga last three ball na si reyes dito sa rock number 12 aiming siya sa, sa siete side pocket pumasok at uh, nakadikit itong ocho sa tabi ng uh, corner pocket sa ibaba Medyo madali na ito, very basic, at uh, makakuha ng ball position dito sa 9. Medyo mahina ng konti no, yung kanyang uh, tira dyan. At uh, kakailangan nyo pang pinahin itong 9. No? So alanganin yung uh, ball position ni Reyes dyan pag uh, ganun pa man. Makikita natin dito yung galing ni Reyes kung may pasok dito sa pamagitan ng uh, tira sa pina. No? Aiming si Reyes. Pasok ang 9, napakahusay at uh, ito, 10-2 ang score natin, lamang na lamang si Reyes at nasa heel na siya, last ball si Reyes, last rock, ayun na kick doon sa side pocket ang 9, pumasok, panalo si Efren Reyes dito sa kanilang uh, match at ito nag-congratulations sila. At uh, panalo ng 20,000 US dollar dyan si Efren at uh, mukhang gagamitin niya ito sa pagpapalibing ng kanyang ama na pumanaw. Congratulations Efren Reyes. Maraming salamat po sa mga nanood. See you on my next video. Cool players in the world. Watch it again as he's congratulated by his fans on the break. Watch the nine ball headed for the pocket. Kicked in by the five ball. Well, that's for you, Dad, Mr. Rays, wherever yeah. you are. Yeah. We told you earlier that his father had passed away. He's headed back home to Manila for the services, and he has played this tournament under uh, strange and difficult conditions. Efren Reyes wins the Florida flare-up, his second victory on the tour this year, an overwhelming 11-2 edging of Johnny Archer. We'll be back in a moment.